I think we just witnessed one of the best moves of the offseason in the NFL, bro. This is a major move here. Drop the bomb. A major move. Um, so to fill you guys in, while sending the second round draft pick to the Buffalo Bills, the Houston Texans received a four-time All-Pro wide receiver, Stephon Diggs, going to the Houston Texans. But it doesn't stop there. In addition, the Texans also received a fifth and a sixth round draft pick. So they didn't just land an All-Pro. They also got draft picks and all they gave up was a second round pick. So <laughs> this is crazy. We got to digest, bro, because initially when I seen this, I'm like, bro, how the hell did the Buffalo Bills get robbed like this? How do you allow yourself to get finessed in this such way, bro? Like you're giving up somebody a four time um, all pro Stefan Diggs and the uh, only thing you're getting in return is a, a second round pick, not even multiple second round picks. You don't get any other uh, top-tier athlete, top-tier receiver, top-tier running back, um, defensive piece, nothing. You get no other pieces in return. And even if you don't get multiple second-round picks, bro, hell, give me a fifth-round pick, sixth-round pick, third-round pick. Stack them picks up if you're going to start doing anything like this, bro. And that's what throws me off with the Buffalo Bills because I'm like looking at this, bro. It looks like uh, the Bills just got finesse, bro, to me. When I seen this trade went down and I got the notification, I'm like, it was equivalent to waking up and seeing $500 missing from your account because you done got swiped. Like, this was, it was insane. Like, I mean, hey, Texans done caught the bills walking by themselves in the midnight through an alley, ran up on them, slapped them in the head with a brick and took all their money out the wallet. The way I see this trade went down, bro. This, this was crazy. I mean... It's, it's no way I'm trading someone of the caliber of Stephon Diggs for only a second round pick in return. This guy has way too much value in the NFL, and he can impact the team so much more than a second round pick in the NFL. So I need at least multiple picks, if anything. That's the first and foremost. I mean, the second thing here, um, when I'm looking at this trade and, and I think about what the Houston Texans have done on um, making this move, I think they've become an ideal picture of what you want to do when you're putting together an elite team around your quarterback. They've been moving with purpose this entire offseason. Um, they've been getting it done. They've been making impactful moves and, and very urgent, honestly. like They haven't been playing much games in terms of bringing these pieces there on the offensive and defensive end. And I love what's going on here because you're surrounding C.J. Stroud with a lot of different weapons on the offensive end. You're giving him some help for your defense to hold a lead, to protect the lead, to keep them in the game if needed. And that stuff is amazing because you already got Mixon from the offseason, Stephon Diggs, and you keep your guy uh, Tank Dale and Nico Collins. Like, you, your receiving core is impeccable right now. We know your quarterback is solid. He can throw the ball. He's very accurate. He makes smart decisions with the ball as well. He didn't throw, I think he only threw like one interception um, in like, eight games and don't quote me on that fact right there but he he didn't throw many interceptions at all um during the height of the texans in the back end of the season so that's already a huge plus there then you look at the defensive end on the texans you got jeff okuda at the corner daniel hunter coming on the line uh Danico autry coming on the line as well like you got bro you they got some pieces around there and they've been making a lot of moves and you know I, i'm proud of the texans and to me they look like this is what you want to do when you're trying to flip your team all the way around and make them a legitimate contender i mean you add so much more value around cj stroud and this is the epitome of how you build a team so i want to give the houston Texans an applaud for doing what they were supposed to do this offseason and, and really making some great moves after closing out last year, you know, in a fashionable way. Um, they kind of set a tone of, of what to expect for them, gave their team an identity, um, gave the fans a lot of hope. And, and, you know, that's amazing. So, you know, after these moves, you can't only help but to think, or you can only help but to think if they'll win their division. The AFC North, or AFC South, correct uh, correction, AFC South, it's, it's going to be close, but... If everything goes the way you expect it to go with the Houston Texans being healthy, um, with them playing just as well as they did with the high morale and confidence that they played with at the end of last season, 
it's not even in negotiation if the Houston Texans will win this division. If they're healthy and they're still playing some, even half of what they were doing last season, they'll for sure win their division because, I mean, only thing stopping them right now from winning this division is the injuries. And that's always a key component, but... With the Titans, I'm sleep on the Titans. I'm snoring right now. <laughs> I'm not worried about the Titans at all. I know they made some moves in the offseason that was, you know, minor, but I don't have confidence in the Titans at all. The Colts, there's something to worry about. Sometimes the Texans, they fall short to the Colts, even when they're supposed to win. And, and we know the Colts have some great players. Um, but, you know, ultimately, I think those guys, uh, Richardson and Patterson or Pittman Jr., those two guys – are going to make incredible plays throughout the season but ultimately the Colts don't have enough to actually close out games that's going to be meaningful game after game and week after week in the NFL season I have to see it in order to believe it to really stand behind the Colts and think they can make something happen by winning this division and outside of the Colts the other serious threat is the Jaguars Trevor Lawrence he's known for making some stuff shake but also the guy has been up and down with injuries and with the Jaguars they got to they got to really show me something too because they've been fairly inconsistent over these past few years as well. So, I think overall when when I'm looking at the Houston Texans, very good shape right now. Very 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 great space to be in with the Houston Texans and you know, <laughs> ultimately I'll put it this way. <laughs> the Houston Texans are doing what people thought the Dallas Cowboys were going to do this offseason. <laughs> you can't you can count on one hand how many moves the Dallas Cowboys have made this entire offseason? I'm pretty sure it's been less than five moves they've made this entire offseason. Meanwhile, a team who's a smaller market than the Dallas Cowboys and still in Texas have been killing it. Killing it, man. I think they spent the most money during free agency, then landed all these big names, multiple big names, as a matter of fact. So, man, got to give kudos and give credit where it's due with the Houston Texans. It'll be a very, very interesting season um, come August and, you know, further on in the year.